I'm Chuta Chit, and this is Five Star Durability Testing. Hey, what's up, Chit Heads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing some durability testing on the E-Cells Five Star. We're gonna be doing this video in the name of science, we're using the scientific method to discover just exactly how durable is a base model E-Cells Five Star, because you know what? We all need to know. And you might notice, guys, for right off the bat, I'm wearing my safety gear today. I got knee pads, elbow pads, chest protector, but one thing you might not see me with right now, this helmet these nice folks from Ex Nido sent to me. Now this is a class three rated e-bike helmet. It's rated up to speeds of 28 miles an hour, LED on the front and back with three different modes, fully adjustable. This is a XL, this comes in a host of different colors. So this is a really nice helmet here. You can see it's got the nice lights on the front. You can set the back to either blink, do a bunch of different things and if you're interested in purchasing one of these, you can use the link in the description of this video and a coupon code to save yourself 15% off your order. Yeah, this is a really nice helmet, guys, and uh, it's one thing you gotta keep in mind when you start riding faster, more powerful bikes, you do need to step up your protections. That's enough about safety. What do you say we go out and start using the scientific method to discover just how durable is this e-bike? Come on, guys, let's go. Part of e-biking is panic stops. Unfortunately, from time to time, you might have to make one. So let's see how well the E-Cells does at a panic stop. But we're only gonna be using the rear brake. Let's go. Oh, no problem. What if you find yourself in a situation where like, you know what? Can I take my five star down the railroad tracks? Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's go. Oh, the nice dual suspension. Oh, it's a smooth ride. Oh, no problem, guys. I can't even tell. It feels like we're driving a Cadillac, guys. We're offering the dual suspension offers a smooth, a buttery smooth ride. Oh, it feels like we're gliding on a cushion of air. The Five Star passes the railroad test with flying colors. What's next? So this is gonna be a real world durability test, guys. I'm not gonna just go out of my way to beat up the bike. I'm gonna be commuting across town, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just not gonna avoid any... Uh, I'm just not gonna be avoiding any of the jumps or obstacles along the way. So if I see something that looks interesting, a jump or a, you know, a ramp, I'll do it as long as it's within reason, guys. Keep in mind, I'm not, I'm not Jeremy McGrath, you know? So every man's got to know his limitations. Man's got to know his limitations. Can the E-Cells 5 Star be your unrestricted choice for an e-bike? Well, I have a hint that the answer is yes, but we're gonna find out for sure. Jump, there's one. I had to easily gotten 15 feet of air off of that one. Oh, here's a little curb here, we better jump it. Try not to get hit by a car. That's not gonna be part of the durability test today. We're gonna go over the curb of destiny. May not be for durability, but can we do it? Ooh, oh man, it's off to a good start, but I tell you guys, that's much harder than you think it'd be. And that is what she said. Curb, parkour. So guys, in preparation for this ride, I did a couple things to the bike. I inflated the tires at 25 PSI. Typically I'll ride around at about 20, but if you'll notice here on the back, I've actually put a couple dents in these wheels already. And that's because I had the, plesh, the pressure wasn't high enough and that'll cause things to actually impact these wheels. Now these wheels are actually extremely strong. And while I did bend the rim, the lip of the rim, the wheel itself is not bent. Speaking of things that are really strong, did I mention that this Ex Nido Logan helmet, fully ventilated and NT8776 certified? Whoa, now you know. We established we can go down the steps with the five star. Let's see if we can go up the steps. Ooh. Ooh. Guys, I still got some practice uh, with that skill, but well, it looks like you can go up the steps with the five star as well. Okay, we've jumped down one step, a curb. We've done two steps. Let's see how high we can get today. Without going nuts. I'm not trying to do a durability test on this uh, Ex Nido Logan helmet. 
Did some jumps down here, and now it's time to go to our next location. But today we're going to be going up the Antioch Lombard. So what good is durability without maneuverability, right? Another curve, another curve. Parkour. Of course, guys, durability isn't all about jumping or going down stairs. You got to be able to take the bike off road too, right? Dropping in. Oh yeah. You can see you can do some pretty steep drop ins with the uh, Ecells Five Star, but. We came down that far. Can we go back up? Well, let's find out. Woo -hoo. Yeah, no problem. To me, the Esos Five Star is the best all-around e-bike you can get. Full suspension, plenty of power. You can go 40 miles an hour. You can get yourself into situations you probably wish you wouldn't have. So yeah, the, the Esos Five Star, you can't go wrong, especially for the $2,000 price point. There's, no, there's not a better bike out there. It's a really good quality build. And then it's just, you know, goes from there. I recently got the Dual Star. Dual Star is awesome. It's got the multiple batteries, but unfortunately that means it's heavier. And I'm just not gonna ride the Dual Star like I will this bike. So now that I have the Dual Star, I'm probably gonna have this bike be more like my, you know, jumper bike, mess around bike. I think I might put a 46 tooth front chain ring on this. I don't know, but I'm gonna be doing some different things with this bike because this one's lighter, it's more maneuverable, and it's just gonna be, better for certain types of riding where the dual star is heavier it's got a nicer front fork that's going to be more like a big nice comfortable cadillac with tons of range where this bike's going to be the rough and tumble more off-road oriented bike where do we go from here oh that's right we're going to continue on down the road and i got a spot in mind for our next set of tests did i mention the x nito logan helmet has free accident replacement oh well now you know so check it out guys now we're going to do the uh the bank test. Let's see how high up we can get here. Woo -hoo. Okay. No problem. I feel like I got about two thirds of the way up that time. So guys, rest assured, if you need to make evasive maneuvers underneath the freeway overpass, going up the banked wall, well, your five star is gonna be up for the task. <laughs> Not bad, a little spooky with the uh, short landing there, but we got it done. Well, there you have it guys i couldn't find three steps so i skipped all the way up to one two three four and five thank god i'm wearing this x nito logo and helmet because this would keep me safe in case anything happens did you know this is nta 8776 certified protects your skull in accidents up to 28 miles per hour well good thing if you go 29 yeah, you're on your own. But 28, you're good wearing the X-Nito Logan helmet, guys. I think it's a pretty nice looking at home. It's USB chargeable and lasts up to 10 hours. Can you believe that? With 10 ports of ventilation, keeps your head feeling nice and cool on the ride. I think I know a set of stairs, one bigger than this, and that's going to be, I think, my final goal for today. So yesterday, I climbed a mountain on my maiden voyage of the Dual Star. Today, we're doing durability testing on the Five Star. I don't think there's much these bikes aren't going to be able to do, to tell you the truth. For that $2,000 price point, this base model 5 Star is, uh, knocks it out of the park. Parkour! 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 All right, guys. I was able to go up a couple steps earlier. I'm going to see if I can go up six steps here. <laughs> Almost. It's much scarier than it looks for some reason. I did it. Nice. Learn a new skill every day, fellas. Oh, yeah. I have to say, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Uh, I've only gone up a couple steps before. It's pretty easy. It's fairly easy to do on the E-Moto. But uh, yeah, I've never really been able to do it on this bike. Get out there, practice learn some new skills, make yourself a better rider. It's all part of the fun of riding. All right, check it out, guys. This is Dead Man's Hill here. I just made up that name. Well, it's super steep. We're way up here. But if you look in the background, that's Mount Diablo. That's the mountain I went to the top of yesterday with my friend. So from this angle, you can really see why there's such a great view from up there and uh, how big the mountain actually is. But that's enough about Mount Diablo. We're going to be going down this hill here. It's very steep. I'm here to scientifically prove 
that this is a very durable bike and part of durability is going down steep hills, testing the brakes and just making sure this bike is up to the challenge of everyday use that people like you and me are gonna be putting it through. So without further ado guys, I'm gonna set up and we're gonna get going down Dead Man's Hill. Ooh, this is so steep guys. Okay. So look at it from this angle. That is a super steep decline, soft dirt. Test me guys, that is scary. And we did it, no problem. Here it is guys, the moment I've been absolutely dreading in the main event for today in the durability test. Six steps here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is almost the height of the entire bike. We're gonna be jumping from there to here. I'm gonna be jumping this. Wish me luck. I got my safety gear on. Then I got the X Nito Logan helmet. Good for speeds up to 28 miles an hour. So hopefully we don't hit 29. Cause if we hit 29 going off this jump, I'm as good as dead. We're gonna do this. I'm Chute the Chit and this is Five Star Durability Testing. First off, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Ex Nito, for giving me the Logan helmet. And if you guys are interested in one of these, you can use the link in the description of the video. Shoot the shit for coupon code. For a second, I'd like to thank my uh, Dave Cleveland over at eCells for creating the five star and believing in me enough to send me a sample unit, guys, and just demonstrating how amazing this e bike is. And if you're interested in buying an eCells five star for yourself, you can use the link in the description and coupon code CHIT100 to save yourself $100 off this very capable machine, guys. And you know what? Don't ride like me. I'm doing this purely for the scientific research so you know what these things are capable of. I do it so you don't have to. I feel very unrestricted today. I feel young. I feel alive. And I hope you do too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.